My name is Venkatesh Krishnan, and today I'm going to show you a demo of Amazon AppFlow that pulls data from Google Analytics and brings it into Amazon S3. You can find Amazon AppFlow under Applications Integrations in your AWS console. So the first step is to click on it and create a flow. So I click a flow, and then I enter a flow name. Data from Google Analytics to Amazon S3. I can enter a description. I can choose an encryption option. By default, Amazon App Flow will encrypt your data in transit and at rest using an AWS managed encryption key. But you can also choose to bring your own customer managed CMKs, which gives you additional control over the keys and also allows you to revoke those keys if needed. You can tag your flow if you want. The next step is to choose your source. In this case, we pick Google Analytics as the source and you can create a new connection to Google Analytics. So when you click the model to create new connections, essentially you'll have to go into Google Analytics, obtain the client ID and client secret and enter them here. You, you would also need to enter a name for this connection. I've already done this, so I'm going to just go back and use the connection that I've already created. Once you create the connection, you can continue to use this as long as your credentials or your uh, you know, access tokens that you have with Google Analytics don't expire. The next step is to choose an object. In this case, I'm going to choose the reports from Google Analytics. Then I choose the view. There are three views available, but I'm going to go with all website data. In the destination, I pick Amazon S3. That's the only destination we support at this time. When Google Analytics is the source, you can choose your S3 bucket. And optionally, you can enter a prefix. And that will put the data into, your, into a folder whose name is this prefix that you specify here. There are two trigger options that are available. Running the flow on demand is just a manual, straightforward option. At the end of the flow creation, you go click on Run Flow on Demand, and it will transfer data a bit instantaneously from Google Analytics into Amazon S3. Alternatively, you can choose to run your flow on schedule. In this case, you can choose either a daily frequency, or you can choose um, even um, once in two day, once in three day frequency. You specify a start time and an end time, and you can choose either to transfer only new data or transfer all data. When you choose to transfer only new data, you will, every time AppFlow executes this flow on, on the predefined schedule, we will look for what has changed since last time, and it will pull only new data, whatever has changed between the previous flow run and the current flow run. If you choose to transfer all data, AppFlow will go back and pull all records from Google Analytics and bring them into S3, your destination. So in this case, I'm just going to go back to run on demand. I click next. Then the next step is for me to choose the fields that I want to bring from Google Analytics into S3. You'll see that when you click on choose source fields, um, app flow lists all dimensions and metrics that you have access to. So it puts both metrics and dimensions together in this list. So you have to be judicious about how you pick dimensions and metrics to bring them into S3. So in this case, I'm going to choose a few metrics and dimensions that I would like to transfer. Uh, for example, I'm going to go with users. So I type users. So I say user metric. This one here, I can also pick user dimension, user type. Um, let me pick date. So 
That's gonna go. Yep, gonna pick that. Then the next step, I also want to bring channel grouping dimension. And finally, I want to bring session metrics. There you go. So these are the dimensions I've picked. When I click, these are the metrics and dimensions I've clicked. When I click map fields directly, basically brings those fields into S3. So it, it creates, it'll set up fields in S3 where it brings the data. The next step is to add filters. If you want, you can go and add a date range. I'm just gonna skip this for now, uh, but you can add a date range. So you can specify a specific date range uh, during which um, it's only those records that that fit into those date range fit into that date range will be transferred from S from Google Analytics into S3. That's it. Once you have set up the flow, you can review it and click Create Flow. Your flow has been created. The next step is since it's a on-demand flow. All you need to do is to click run flow and it will execute that flow right away. The execution has started. Once it's done, we'll go into S3 and check the destination bucket. There you go. So it just transferred one record and it took about seven seconds to transfer. I can click on the S3 bucket. It takes me straight to that location where my data is. Click on the folder. There you go. I open it. That's the data which has been transferred. So it's transferred these values. The values are zero. So just transferred that one record from Google Analytics into Amazon S3. And that's the demo. Thank you very much.